I'm so sorry I'm late. So for my birthday, we're going up north for a week. You're gonna come, right? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, it just came up. Just came up. Just came up. Remember this thing I told you about? That sales thing? Turns out now they do need me to go. Why? Just, I came up, I guess. What am I gonna do without you? My beautiful girl. You know, I wanted to ask you, a character's drink choice is interesting to me. I think it's a little detail, but in the beginning, you order that vodka soda, and then we realize that the wine is kind of tied to something negative, right? So I, I don't want to go into specifics about what that arc ends up being, but I was just curious for you how important a drink choice is. I mean, even just in this character, but in other characters, like Simple Favor, like there's just certain things about a choice that the character makes to drink something, and I just... I'm wondering what that means to you as an actor. That's really interesting because I I've been uh, getting into making cocktails. <laughs> I sort of abandoned. I'm I'm never going to be a good cook, and baking was just it's just too labor intensive. I love it, but I just don't have that much time for it. So I was like, what's something that's like really specific that when people come over, I can make for them and. You know, it can be like a little bit creative, but doesn't take up my whole day. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I've been uh, I, I've been like, yeah, getting into making cocktails and stuff. And it's uh, it's so fun. But uh, I think you you're right you that there's asking. something, huh? What are you? What kind of cocktails are you making now? Just out of curiosity. Um, uh, oh, I was. Uh, I, well, because it's sort of Christmas time. Uh, a couple nights ago, I, I was. I'm making French 75s. But around Christmas, I I do uh, with cognac instead of um, gin, and. Um, <laughs> And uh, I think I was making something that was kind of a cross between a bee's knees and a gin fizz at one point. But, you know, anything that has like the egg white foam, when, if you make it at home, people think it's really impressive. It's not that hard, but it, <laughs> you know, people it, people find it very impressive, which I enjoy. But I think you're right that like more more even than what they would order to eat at a restaurant, like what right. a character orders to drink is is sort of uh, a, like a strong character indicator. And um, yeah, it's, it's really, because I think that, yeah, there's some specific stuff with Alice not wanting to have sugar, um, but there's also something about a vodka soda that's just like, you you couldn't ask for a more like I'm just trying to not exist right. kind of drink. You know, I'm just trying to make myself so small and unnoticed that I'm gonna order like a California roll and a vodka soda. Which, by the way, I will have both of those and it's fine. I'm not no, like I have no hate for a California roll or a vodka soda, but yeah. um, yeah, that it's like there's just like not a lot of personality coming through it's it's like there's not room for her to have a specific thing that she wants you know about that vodka soda just that it's ordered and it's done and i don't have to think about it what's interesting is hmm. if, if you take this to a different level think about when james bond orders a martini yeah what does that say about the character it, it, it says something about the way he orders it the, and uh, if you actually look at yeah it. and daniel craig actually uh in different different of the bond films he would order different drinks and scenarios and i asked him about that and he goes well depending on what he was about to do in that scene was he about mm -hmm. to kill a bad guy? Is he about to, you know, meet a woman? Like, like it was very interesting. So Anna Kendrick uh, is starring in Alice Darling. It comes out in theaters next Friday, the 20th. We'll have more from her uh, next week as well. But I, I always love speaking with her. And now I want to try one of her French 75s, apparently. Which right. I've, never, I've never had a French 75. Oh, what yeah, is that? Good. I don't know, but good. Everyone keeps, I, I keep seeing that in, like, stories recently. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it. It seems like a, it's, it it's kind of like all the rage, right? Yeah, hashtag good ADC. Let me know. I'm not trying to sound ignorant. I just don't drink a lot of French 75s. But so. what about if you ordered, like, then, like, a scoop of vanilla ice? Ice cream for dessert. Oh. That would really like. What does that say about you? Nothing. Uh, I don't know. Right? I think it says no. you're adventurous <laughs> and you like a sweet tooth. Hmm. See, I thought it kind of went with just like her plain go away. Interesting. Well, vanilla will be different. Are you, That's like what a, I said. You get pistachio, maybe. Yeah. Well, now I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I got gotcha, you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you.